Okay, hello everybody, welcome. This is teacher Kenneth. Uh, today, we're going to use a really cool painting application to make a cat. All right, so let me share my screen here with you. I'm gonna share this one. Here we are, share screen, okay. And when I get here, I'm just gonna type in you, I draw painter. Okay, and just click on the, it should be the first link. For me, it's the first link. Sometimes you get a sponsored ad or something, but just uh, if it's not here, it should be in the first three. So go ahead and click on it. UI Draw Painter. And then once it comes up here. Uh, so this is a really cool tool. I've talked about this before, but uh, it's very easy to use, very easy to access. So I like to use this. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a cat. So just a really quick rundown of some of the tools. Here you have a pen. And you can see that says brush. So you can use whichever one you want. If I use the brush, uh, sorry, if I use the pen, it looks like that. It's a little bit small, so I can come up here to the, ch to the top and change the size. Let's make it like a nine. So you can see the difference there. Now this tool is kind of cool because if I paint, you see when I when I turn like that, it kind of pulls the ink. See that? Uh, it's, it's a really cool effect. Like it smudges it. And if I use the paint brush, it looks like this. And it doesn't do that. You see, it's not pulling the ink like, like the pen tool. Okay, so if I want to choose the uh, color, I can just just click on the first box. You don't need to worry about the second box. Um, that's just like if you're using the eraser, it'll be this color. So I'm just going to choose, uh, I could choose purple or pink. Looks a bit kind of in between on my screen. If I choose a blue, I can do that, or I can change it to a green. So here you have your, your main uh, colors here on your right, and then you can change how light or dark you want it to be. So you can see that. So let's say I want a red, I need to move, uh, I can go up to the top here. And if I want it to be a pink, I can just move this up and it'll be a light, very light color, it's almost white. Move it a little bit to the right and it's kind of pinkish. But if I move it all the way to the right here, it's gonna be red. And you can even make it a dark red by moving this down here. So you can see that's kind of a dark maroon color. And here you have like a kind of a, a normal red. All right, so anyway, to clear that, I'm just going to go file clear. And then I can make my cat. Now, I actually have a cat open on my other screen, which you can't see. So I'm going to try to uh, try to paint it. I'm not the best artist. And I'm not going to just sit here and paint for 20 minutes. But just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now, I actually do like the pen tool. Uh, it just, I find it has a really cool effect that I like. Um, and you can, if you come up here, you can actually change some of the effects here, but we're just gonna stick with what they gave us. So the cat I have on my screen, it's, uh, it's like a tabby cat, it's orange. It's got like two shades of orange and uh, white on its, uh, kind of on its chest and in the chin area. So let's see if I can draw, I'm gonna draw the ears first. So I'm gonna draw, cats usually have a pinkish ears with white hair. So I'm just gonna very quickly, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but let's, uh, let's try. So I'm gonna draw ear like this. And over here you see, so I actually like this effect. It creates a kind of a uniqueness with it. And let's not make him too big over here and like that okay and then um and then i'm gonna add orange for the rest of the head so let's go over here and kind of let's make them a lighter orange something like let's see so his head oh i don't know how this is going to turn out <laughs> but that's okay so his head something like this and then let's now down here because his arm is actually up here. So if I bring this down here, eh, that's good enough. 
Um, and then he's got this big pink nose. So let's do the eyes and the nose. I might actually want to make my brush smaller for the face. So I can just click on these arrows here. And he's got these like black and then uh, brownish eyes. So I'm just going to make this like a dark, maybe a little lighter, a lightish brown color. And yeah, so it, just try your best. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not the best artist. So. And I'm also using this brush. So it creates a really weird effect, but I, I like it. Um, but yeah, I, I can already tell that I messed up a little bit because his face is a bit fat. It should be a bit longer, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep going with this. And I'm gonna, this is more of a cir circle, actually, because we're looking at it from this, uh, this angle. But let's see how this turns out. Yeah, so you see, I get this really interesting effect. It just auto fills it in. Um, and then I'm going to add a pink for the nose. Let's see. Pink. I, actually, no, it's like, a, let's see if I can get the same color. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So, oh, you know, because his nose is all the way down here. That's why. So we're just going to create something like this. <laughs> so you can see it actually, the the brush, I, the pen tool I'm using here, it did this. It caused this uh, extra paint to show up here when I didn't necessarily want it. But it creates these really, like I said, really strange effects that I actually like. I like how kind of random it is it makes it it almost makes it look more realistic because um every living thing has something strange like uh, not not strange but something unique we don't all look the same right we got i i got freckles um people got different hairstyles naturally so uh let's see what do we want here so he had that little i don't know how this is gonna look but there you go and then the mouth you can't really see um I'm going to leave it. Let's switch to a really small brush here. Kind of just pull that a little bit. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. I don't need to make the face perfect. And then I'm just going to fill out the body very quickly. Let's add some orange. So let's see if I can get the right color here. Hmm. Yeah, OK. That's a, that's a, like a brownish color. All right, that's pretty good. So let's just do this real quick. I'm just gonna draw this arm. He has a, his arm is coming here. And then he's kind of, he's resting on his, on his front paws. So let's create this here. And then, um, you know, I could actually just pull this down here but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And let's bring this up like that. So my cat kind of looks something like this. Uh, his, his, one of his arms here comes out this way, curves down a little bit, and then something like that. And then he's got these white paws. So this is actually looking okay, I think. So he looks something like this. Um, and then I'm going to fill out the body. I'll draw the paws in a minute here, but I want to get the rest of the body in. So let's, let's just flush this out here in the back. That's the back of the cat. And it kind of comes up like that. And then his, uh, actually has a little bit of body that sticks out right here behind his ear or in front of his ear. And then the back goes like this. And that's pretty close. And then his tail is also orange and it kind of curves around and off the, off the screen. There you go. So you can see, yeah, not too bad. I think that looks like a cat. Um, and then I could add the white is a little bit difficult, obviously, cause I'm drawing on white, but uh, let's see if I add a, like a, a slight, like, well, it's kind of dark. I guess he's got a shadow around his paws. So if I wanted to draw a little bit of a, add a little bit of darker gray, I think that's okay. So if I just pull it down like this and then kind of up like that, eh, it looks all right. And then I can just pull this down here. 
in there. And that's pretty good. So I, I could come in here and change a, so obviously I, I need to color him in, add some stripes because he's got these stripes on his back, sort of. Um, but really, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. As I said, this, this pen tool, it's really cool because it adds this cool effect um, to where it just kind of fills in naturally. And for some reason, it just looks really nice to me. I, I think it does. Um, so I'm just gonna do this very quickly. Let's add some stripes like this. He's got this big patch down his back all the way going back like that. And then he's got kind of one more right here. And he's got these little, uh, like almost like patches kind of going this way. And I think that's fine. And then we got a little bit going this way as well. Although it's a little bit lighter on this side. In the screen, I think the window is on this side. Um, so you got more light on this side, but that's okay. So you know what? I think this is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna stop here, but go ahead and take your time with it. Make your cat look really beautiful. And oh yeah, so let me show you. To save your picture, you can just click on File, uh, Export. And then it should export it to the desktop of whatever you're using. So you can use this on a, on a tablet, on a phone, or on a computer. I recommend using a computer. It makes it a lot easier. But if you don't have a computer, like a desktop computer or a laptop, you can use a tablet. So that is an option. I just think it's easier on a, on a computer. So anyway, there you go. See how you do with that. And uh, go ahead and send me pictures, OK? Thank you very much and have a lovely day. Uh, goodbye.